In an increasingly troubled world, the best intelligence, the best imagery is vitally important. And we're here to talk to one of the leaders in space-based intelligence here at Dubai. To really delve deep into this, we're here with Lynn Shasine, who's the Chief Market and Product Officer of Black Sky. Lynn, what about, tell us about Black Sky and why is your solution important in today's marketplace? So Black Sky is a space-based intelligence company. So what that means is we own and operate a fleet of electro-optical satellites that image the Earth about once an hour. But that coupled with our proprietary AI data and our proprietary platform enables customers to get image to insight often in less than 60 minutes. And the reason this is important is it allows customers to make decisions in real time, especially for tactical ISR mission. And just tell us about how customer requirements are changing a bit, Lynn, that you've seen over the last couple of years and what they're expecting in the next couple of years. Yeah, it's an interesting dynamic. Customers definitely want the best possible resolution they can have. But resolution is just isn't enough anymore. So customers also need high fidelity, low latency, high frequency imaging, which means they need to know that they can have the image when they need it, where they need it, guaranteed. And that's what you can provide today? Black Sky can provide that today on our commercial system, but for some customers, they require or want sovereign systems. So we're able to take the same satellites that we own and operate commercially and provide them to customers where they can own and operate the proven Gen 3 systems as a sovereign asset. And just tell us about your constellations. You know, you've got some uh, news coming up quite soon about your expansion in that area. Yeah, so far we've launched two Gen 3 satellites, which are electro-optical satellites that are 35 centimeter collectors. And in just a few days, we'll be launching our next Gen 3 satellite, and we'll continue to build out the Gen 3 baseline over the next few quarters. And what does that look like, the Gen 3 baseline? I mean, what's the sort of the North Star when you look at where you want to get to for your customers and for your, for your business? So customers want imagery and analytics as fast as they can get them. So the more Gen 3s we launch, coupled with our Gen 2 constellation, really allows customers to have access to strategic locations often every hour. And just give us a couple of examples of where your technology maybe has played a role in helping you know, countries and, and forces around the world you know, do their business and get better intelligence. One really good example is the war in Ukraine. The war in Ukraine was probably the first time where commercial companies really showcased what commercial satellite data can do. If we think about the news headlines and how much we knew about border incursion and invasion in Crimea, most of that data was delivered through real-time commercial assets, satellite imagery that were showing the world in real time what was happening on the ground. And in this part of the world, in the, in the Middle East, in the Gulf, just tell us why it's an important technology for this region. In this region, it's super important because we know that customers and future customers are really monitoring not only their borders, but they're monitoring activity of their adversaries. And it's often activity that happens in, let's say, denied airspace. So it's a place where you can't fly a drone to know what's going on. So by being able to use satellite imagery, customers can not only monitor their border and their territories, they can also monitor what their adversaries are doing from space. So it's an important part of that intelligence mix for anybody. Absolutely. It gives you accurate intelligence in places that are often denied through denied airspace or where you wouldn't want to send your troops. So it's also a much safer and lower risk way to get the real-time intelligence that you need. Lynn, thanks very much for telling us about Black Sky and your plans. Good luck with the satellite launch. We'll keep our fingers crossed. And thank you very much for talking to Aviation Week today. Thank you.